Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we finished off all of Dompe's requests that aren't level 4. And apparently, so people told me that their requests for the level 4 adventures all just kind of give you rupees, which is good if you want to use the rupees to buy the chamber stones. But guess what? You already made all the little dungeons, so what's the point for the chamber stones? I don't get it. I'm not entirely sure I understand. But hey, that's what it is, so... It is what it is. In this episode, we're going to be doing the figurine thing. Side quest, I guess you would call it. And we have the Goomba figure, which I believe is the second one. And I, so I did a little tour around the town before I started recording to try and figure out where most of these, where most of these stands go. And it turns out that there, there's not nearly as many as I thought there was. I thought there was like 20, but I could only find like eight or nine. So this is going to be a bit easier than I thought. Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. Okay. Yeah. And it also straight up tells you what goes there. So we know what's going to be coming. Yeah. There's Goomba. Yeah. So I have a general idea of where all of these go if I remember correctly. But there's also only like four houses that have all the stands in them. So it's not even that you have to explore every single house. It's just in maybe village, Mabe village, who cares? And only in four of the houses. Now, luckily I'll have enough money for the crane game. So I think I was thinking that this episode could work as a bit of a summary kind of review-ish type episode. So I could talk about my thoughts on, wow, Good stuff. Oh no! Oh, he wiggling. I feel like it's gonna be easier to pick up like that though, right? Who's to say? Um, Yeah, so my thoughts on Link's Awakening. Obviously it's good. Like I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, bad game. Played through all the way and I enjoyed it though. It's a very good game. And I'm surprised that it honestly took them this long to remake it because I mean, when you look at Link's Link to the Past, which was made before this, before Link's Awakening, right? I'm pretty sure it is. But you look at that, and that was essentially remade a long time ago. And in fact, they also redid the style of it quite a few times with like Four Swords Adventures and all that. But Link's Awakening, I guess you could call it the style of Link to the Past, but it's kind of, it's different. And I don't know how to explain that difference, really. What did we just get? We got a spiny. Okay. Um, I don't really know how to exactly explain that difference, but the vibe is off. It's not just... I don't know. I just, again, I just don't know how to explain it. But, like, we got a Link Between Worlds, and that it was essentially a remake of Link to the Past. This is an older game, and it's just now getting remade. I don't know why I talked to the person. Uh, This one? Boo. There's so many. Spiny, there it is. Sure enough. Yeah, I can remember the houses they're in easily enough, but when it comes to the individual figurine stands, it's a bit much. Uh, anyway, yeah. Took over 20 years, I'm pretty sure, for them to remake it. And now I'm just wondering when they're going to remake Oracle of Ages and Seasons, because I did play Seas... Oh, it's on the movement belt. Uh, I did play Seasons, didn't play Ages, because I was worried about, you know, how similar they would be. And so I just didn't bother. I know that there's, like, unique content if you play both of them. Oh. Wait! No. I tried to aim it where it would be stopping. I guess it would be easier to do that on the right end of it, not the left end. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do with the 2D Zelda series because I think this is one of the highlights. I still like Link Between Worlds more, if only because it's a bit more difficult. Like, since this was a straight up remake, it's kind of very simple compared to some of the other uh, remake style games they've had like A Link Between Worlds. And as a result, I just think it was a little bit all over too easy. I only died once. 
And that's going to haunt me for the rest of my years. But it was in the very first dungeon where you have three hearts. And, you know, it's usually if you're going for 100% run. The beginning of the game usually is the hardest part of the game. So I, that's understandable. But nothing really ever got me low. Like, any time that I was at three hearts, there were multiple fairies. I had the cream this whole time that I never used. Wow, I really have to go a lot earlier, don't I? I love the way this boo looks, by the way. I'm worried that one of these times it's going to get flung, like, in a weird direction because of the movement of the panel it's on. And it's just going to start rolling randomly. But the little green tips on its fingers. Love that. Okay, let's go now. That might have been a bit too early. Or not. Nope. It's still too late! Holy moly, dude. Ooh, I nudged it to the right a little. Oh, no. Okay, it's it's just about to do what I was going to say. Okay, I'm going to grab this boo, because I feel like this is just going to take a while. Oh my goodness, I got it. Yeah, that took a hot minute. Oh my lord, now we have to hope it doesn't come out. I'm very appreciative that the figurines all seem to be big enough that they don't... No. They all seem to be big enough that they won't fall out no matter what. So, big thanks. That's a nice looking boo. What a good looking boo. There's some boo designs over the years that, you know, just don't hit. I'm trying to think of specific one. I feel like, hmm. Some of the Mario Party ones were a bit odd. The Mario 64 ones were okay, but Mario Party used a slightly different model and it was not epic. Wasn't this one the boo? Yeah, it does, is. Does, is. Boom. You know, I completely forgot what the reward for all this was. But yeah, so in terms of difficulty, I'd say that this is probably, out of all the 2D Zeldas, the absolute easiest. Because thinking to Zelda 1, obviously harder. It's one of the hardest ones. Link to the Past, it's actually, I think most of its popularity comes from how relatively difficult it is to a lot of the modern Zelda games, so it's very hard. Um, let's see, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. Honestly, they weren't too difficult for the most part but there were a couple of really cryptic puzzles which i guess you know what when it comes down to this game there was a few times that i did absolutely get stuck so yeah sure whatever but i don't know i feel like i i know the normal player probably wouldn't get stuck there because they would have cut that i mean it's one it's one bush though it's one bush though to cut down to get to the animal village. And you know what? I, d I feel like I wouldn't even count that as a puzzle, though. Because when I think of the difficult puzzles that were in Oracle Seasons and Ages, I think they just... It, it's kind of like the Majora's Mask to this game, where they knew people were familiar with the concept of the Game Boy... Ugh, what did we even get? I wasn't paying attention. Cheap Jeep. Not here. People were familiar with the concept of Game Boy... 2D Zelda, so they just made it outright harder, similar to how they did for Majora's Mask, which I guess we can debate, but I think Majora's Mask is a ton harder. Listen, Great Bay Temple compared to Water Temple, ridiculous difference. Why do y'all put chairs in front of your stands? Yay, cheap, cheap, first try. I mean, there's only two in here, but whatever. Yo, please call outside. The most useless hint person in all of existence. You know what? That's not true. He gave me like two good hints. I do wish they had a bit more of a robust hint system than something that was in the previous, the original game. Like they could have had something where you pay a little bit of rupees for a very, very exact hint. Like, I don't know, it could give you a little path through the map that shows you exactly, exactly where you need to go. And I don't know, or like circle a spot. Well, you know what? That wouldn't be... That wouldn't make sense because they'd have to figure out where you got stuck and they can't really do that. I've realized how early I need to press this button. Oh! It opens up! 
when you release the button. I didn't know that. This whole time I thought it was just based on it'll automatically stop when it stops in O. And oops, that's all on me. I mean, I guess that would only specifically come up when something's in the top right corner. Man, I thought I had the timing down too, though. That's unfortunate. I mean, I guess I could just move over and release it when I think it's the right time. I believe it's when it's like halfway on its way back. Like there. Well, hey, they can't all be winners. Or can they? Boy pinched it. Oh, please don't. Okay. <laughs> that was not normal. They gave the blooper a green little frill as well. I wonder why that specific style. I mean, it, listen, it does look good. I'll tell you that much. But bloopers don't usually have like a little greenish blue. What would you call that? Man, I hate the names of blue tints. Bluish and green. Anywhere from that, like you say mint and everyone gets a different color in their head. You say aquamarine. No one knows. Cyan. What's that? No one knows. Uh, blooper. Wait, no, I think uh, both of the... I remembered this. The aquatic ones are in Ulrira's place. I've just been going up top <laughs> instinctively because they have like four things in their house. And it makes it, you know, a good bet when there's only so many figurines in the first place. Yo, what up? I'm putting this here. You got a cactus in your house. Very interesting. Sometimes I just I just need to take time to like look around. Isn't that the Yoohoo granny over here on the wall? A lot of these houses are really nicely decorated. Oh, I do want to talk about the graphical style. I will say the blur. I, I'm still not sure if it was the correct choice. You know what? I think this game could use blur, but not nearly as much as they use. It's a crazy amount. I did get used to it by the end, and luckily when you're in dungeons and all that, in like in a house like we are now, there's zero blur. They don't blur anything. So that helped a bit. So it was only when you're outside, and honestly, I think I was in dungeons or houses more often than I was in any given overworld spot. So that was nice. I didn't have to deal with the blur that much. As for the art style itself, I think it's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. You know, when I come out with all these games that have like a not very realistic style, obviously that's what Nintendo's known for. When they have all these non-realistic style games, you got to realize that that just means they can go absolutely crazy with the details. The way that all of these trees shine as if they're plastic, very realistically, like the, the light moves on them when you change the angle you're looking at them of. So it's not just baked into the model texture or whatever that is. It's actual lighting reflecting off of everything. Look at the lighting on that, that uh, house tree. Move. It moves. The light goes up the side when you get a different, like, it moves. That's very, very impressive. What did we even get? Shy guy, okay. I think this one actually is at the top. And I think that's uh, something to be celebrated when you can just make absolutely insane realistic looking objects in a toy game like this. And I really appreciate that. They kind of did the exact same thing with Animal Crossing as well. I remember there was a post where the little light strands that they have on your hair, whenever it's like, it's like there's a ring of light that's on the hair that naturally happens if you have a light source above you. But apparently that's incredibly difficult and taxing on a system to do. But they did it because Animal Crossing is literally so basic that, it, oh, how am I going to get that? Animal Crossing so basic that it just worked. They could just do that. I don't know how the height's going to change my grabbing of it. I'm not sure I enjoyed... Oh! Oh! How is this going to happen? I'm just going to try and grab the head. I think that's going to work. What if it drags? Oh. I 
I'm glad we did the figurine thing, if only for the piranha plant alone. You know what? This whole time I've been wondering why they made the little conveyor belt so big. Like it's two, you can see it's two conveyor belts put together. I believe in the original game, it was just the size of, size of like one of those conveyor belts. It was one block wide and tall. And that alone explains why it was so big. I've never seen that. I think it's in here. Crazy. So that thing's just going to be sitting here, huh? Stand for something that says piranha plant. Imagine seeing a little figurine of a piranha plant, except it's not little. It's bigger than you. Hey. Mushrooms. I never noticed it was a bag of mushrooms. Has that always been there? I completely missed that. I don't think we have too many to go. I think we have like... This might be the last one. No. No, I must have counted wrong. No, there's definitely more. Oh God. Oh boy, Pokey. I mean, these are literally in the game, so... Guess it makes sense. Attack it at its head. Oh! I thought it was just gonna fall out. Oh, this is weird to look at. Man, they really give you the weird ones near the end, don't they? Well, yoink. Go... <sighs> The memory of meeting these still stings. Yeah, because they didn't go fast. But, um, tss. All right. I believe this is going to go to the top. Like, obviously, I read the names of the figurines, so I, like, know what's coming. But I just don't expect them to be twice Link's size. Very surprising. This one's on the left side. We fill in all the others, so I know it's this one. Fish. Yeah, I'll put it in. Yeah, again, just looking around. You don't look. There's little crown drawings. I wait. Hold on. Why are there crown? That baby can't draw. That's a baby. That's an infant. You, like that's not even a year old. You don't draw. I I guess you could. It could be finger paints, but also there were shapes on that picture. That was a specifically a face. Infants don't draw a face. Like that. That's that's a bit later. We can all agree, correct? Whatever reward we get for this, I have no idea how we get it, because it's kind of... Was that it? Hello? Trying to game. No. I put... Uh, this isn't good. Do I... Do... Hold on. Someone said I do need to do some fishing to get what's ever left. Maybe I fish out one of the... One of the rewards. I know there's one left in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's one left here. Bow Wow. How do I... Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. What if I just put the real Bow Wow there? Chow Chow. Yep, yep. That's right, because we put one here. Maybe it is... From the fishing game. They just wanted to make the last one special or something, perhaps? Oh, okay. Cool. I'm glad that my sword laser hit it. It is shining, so you know what? Let's do it. How about some fine little some fine fishing. I don't know where I read the word fine, but it sure is there. Uh middleweight? I don't know if it really matters for my purposes, since I could catch them all anyway. Okay, so do I need to catch a different type of fish or nah? Can it just be anything? Okay, that's kind of cheating, but all right. Oh, not even close. Christ. Okay, well, I didn't mean to throw it that short, but maybe we can get one of these. And they won't be jumping out. Jeez, come on, dude. Uh. 
He's losing a lot of... Is it because I'm... I'm not even gonna try. It's swimming so far. Is it because I'm using the middleweight lure? And I'm catching... Trying to catch a big fish? Is that why? I think this cheap cheap on top might be considered middleweight. Okay, that's not nearly as far as I wanted to throw it. Well, that's way farther than I wanted to throw it, rather. Okay. Sure. Come on, dude. Got him. Did I forget how to... Hello? Blooper. I... Uh... Change lures to the heavyweight, I think. No! Ugh. I'll try to get this tiny, tiny fish in the front. Don't get the blooper. Don't get the blooper. I'm not... I don't want that blooper to go away before I change to the heavyweight. And then I have trouble catching the lightweight fish. Watch. Oh! Why is this fish the first thing that's, like, not bitten immediately? It's permanently not even interested. Wow. That hurts. Try to get this one on top. Are you... Are you joking? Is there... There's... There's gotta be a button I'm forgetting. That I just haven't been pressing because I forgot about it. Hello? He munched. Like, I'm able to catch this one just fine, I guess. Like, I'm remembering the tips that I was given where it's like, you can pull a little bit before and after it starts swimming away and get away with it. But obviously, uh, go a little bit harder. Yeah, I do need to catch the specific fish. Heavyweight. I guess. Oh, that boy's sinking. Wait, wasn't it about... how deep the fish is and not how big it is? Maybe it was. Hold on. Hold on just a second. But I feel like I did use the middleweight one against ones that were in the middle. Right? It is kind of stalling in late in deep water, so maybe that is right. Oh, it did munch. Look at how little. I'm making absolutely no progress. I'm so confused. Wait, what What was that? Hold on, I did a super hard pull? How did I do that? I double tap. That's never been a thing, right? Well, that changes the game. Oh, you have to keep tapping. No one told me. I Maybe people did tell me about this. And I just forgot. Or am I only allowed to do it with the heavyweight whirler? I don't know. Well, I did reel in a big fish. So, bada boom, bada bing. Let's get that blooper. Yeah, it sinks way too fast. I don't know when it's technically pulling, pulling. Did I ever actually catch the blooper? I'm just assuming it's when it does its little thing. <laughs> I like how it actually pops out of the water. 
This is another detail on how good this game looks, is just how real these water physics feel. Like how it pops out when it's, I don't know. I don't know. He is really blooping. That's a lunker. Want to keep go? Yeah? There's... No. What do you mean there's something else? Now... Oh no, it was just the reward for catching the blooper, I guess. Okay. Um, hey! How do I get the Bow Wow one? Well, you know what? I think I remember it being a case of where you had to get a certain distance into the game. Maybe we just haven't gotten far enough for Bow Wow? So I guess that'll do it. And in the next episode, I mean, you know what we're going to do. We're gonna finish. See you all then, and goodbye.